Good morning everyone. Myself Monica and I am a legal intern at Lexis and Company. Today we will be talking about abuse of dominance and relevant market. Abuse of dominance uh, refers to the situation where a dominant mar- company in a market engages in anti-competitive practices that harm competition, restrict consumer choices or impede the entry of new competitors. It typically involves the misuse of market power and a company that holds a substantial position in a particular market. What is relevant market? To determine whether a company holds a relevant position, it is necessary to define the relevant market and the relevant market consists of the both product market and the geographical market. The product market includes all products or services that are regarded or interchangeable or substitutable by consumers. The geographical market defines the area in which companies operate and compete. When the assessing and relevant market competitor, competition authorities consider factors such as characteristics of the products or services, the price and, and quality of the products, the presence of alternative products or services and the geographical scope of competition. The goal is to define the market in a way that captures the competitive uh, constraints faced by the companies operating within it. Once the relevant market is defined, authorities analyze whether a company holds a dominant position within that market. A p- dominant position is typically characterized by the ability of a company to act independently of its competitors, consumers and suppliers. Factor considered when assessing dominance including market share, financial strength, barriers to entry, access to resources and the ability to influence market conditions. If a company is found to be dominant, it must be determined whether it is abusing it in its dominant position. There are various types of abusive conduct that can occur. First, predatory pricing, setting uh, prices below cost or drive competitors out of the market, exclusive dealing, imposing contractual uh, restrictions that prevent consumers or suppliers from dealing with competitors, refusal to supply, denying access to essential facilities or resources needed by competitors, tying and bundling, requiring customers to purchase one product or services as a condition for obtaining another, and discriminatory pricing, applying different prices or conditions to equivalent transaction with different consumers, thereby creating a competitive disadvantage for certain consumers. Now I would like to wind up my topic. Uh, In case if you have any uh, doubts regarding that, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.